You've probably heard of genealogy websites like Ancestry DNA, 23andMe, Family Tree, just to name a few. After you submit your DNA, it links you to living relatives or ancestors. GEDmatch is a third party website. It compares DNA from all of the other genealogy databases. So you or I might use this new technology to find a relative who tested at a different company. Detectives use GEDmatch to identify the sheep's flat Jane Doe and her killer. It was July of 1982. Police found a woman shot to death in an area known as Sheep's Flat on the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe. This is what she was wearing. No identification card, no jewelry. Detectives named her Sheep's Flat Jane Doe. The case went cold for more than three decades. In 2015, a Washoe County Sheriff's detectives put out a fresh theory that she might be from the Midwest not Europe like they originally thought, but the case went cold for another three years. In 2018, detectives started working with the DNA Doe Project. They sent in DNA samples from Sheep's Flat Jane Doe to Jed Match. Detectives found her biological parents from Detroit, Michigan. Fingerprints from a misdemeanor arrest in Detroit confirmed Sheep's Flat Jane Doe was Mary Silvani. The agony remains with us though. One of the women who founded DNA Doe Project says despite all of these answers, there are still questions. We know her name, but we don't know her story. We don't know who she was, how she came to be on that trail in Sheep's Flat, and why her life had to come to an end. Detectives used the same DNA testing to find her killer, James Curry. It took more than 2,000 hours of research. Genealogists found the suspect was the grandson of a couple who lived in Dallas, Texas. The couple had three sons and only one known grandson. Curry ended up being the illegitimate child of one of those sons. He was raised by his mother under a different name. Months after Silvani was murdered in 1983, Curry confessed to three other murders. He died in jail the same year. James Curry's children voluntarily sent in DNA samples to detectives and it matched the DNA they had from the suspect. Now this cold case is closed. But police everywhere are starting to use this new DNA technology. Detectives use the same process to solve the Golden State Killer investigation. Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.